to your bi-weekly love reading from March 1st through the 15th, 2018. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. And for your reading today, I'm using the Anna K Tarot deck as my primary tarot deck. I will be clarifying some cards with the Vera Sibylla Italiana and pulling a guidance message for you at the end of the reading. So, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Capricorn? Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Rising. Capricorns on the house cusp and also Venus and Capricorn. What do they need to know regarding their love lives from March 1st to the 15th, 2018? This is their bi-weekly love reading. What do they need to know regarding their love lives? All my Capricorns out there who may be watching. Let's do one more for good luck for Capricorn. All right, we're going to look at your current situation. What is helping or hindering you? The root of the situation what you may be thinking and feeling over the next two weeks, your recent past, your near future. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Rods in reverse. So this is telling me that uh, you're getting out of some kind of a drama, drama, getting yourself out of some drama here, yes. Getting out of a uh, conflict, this is all about petty hassles, struggles, competition. You're removing yourself from that. You don't want to fight anymore. So it can be seen as a time after arguing. All right. Uh, and so it's things can once again start moving in a positive direction, similar to the Six of Wands in the Tarot. Underneath that, we have the Moon in Reverse. So someone may have been repressing feelings. Uh, this can sometimes talk about being in emotional denial or there being secrets here. Uh, let's take a look at your cards. We have a Six of Cups in reverse. Your challenge is a Seven of Swords. What uh, has put you here is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Your thoughts and feelings, we have the Seven of Rods in reverse. Your recent past, you have the King of Rods. Near future, you have the Page of Pentacles. All right. So you do walk into the month of March with the Six of Cups in reverse. So you may be thinking a lot about the past. Uh, you could be thinking about someone from your past. This is my card of nostalgia. When it's reversed, it can say that you have some bitter memories or you may be thinking about something it happened in your past or someone from your past and you're unable to let go of the negative feelings. So the guidance with this is to just bring the positive memories with you into the future and uh, don't let those negative memories rob you of your present happiness. Your challenge is the Seven of Swords. So this is the card of someone who is being deceptive this often does talk about someone sneaking around, being sneaky. As you can see, he's lifting some gold out of a window here. So this is like the thief card. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius. This is Aquarius's card. Or you could be dealing with someone who is doing this kind of thing, either outright behind your back or out in the open. Usually this is someone who's doing things under the radar. So covert operations here. Uh, what is putting you here is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Earth sign energy. As I was saying, Capricorn, before I was interrupted by a furry creature in my house, a little dog barking. Uh, at the root of the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is Earth sign energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm seeing a feminine energy here. Uh, 
This person may not be feeling well. They could also um, have mental health issues. Uh, this is someone who is neglectful of their own body or feels neglected. Um, this could also be someone who has been hurt in the past. Uh, this person is lazy or they may just uh, lack motivation. Because um, right here, upright, we have someone who is very nurturing. Look, as she has her hand on her belly, which indicates fertility. Um, she's very, uh, she's kind of a nature woman. Look at all the harvest and abundance here. So, uh, there could be some issues with, uh, either you or someone you know who is an earth sign just taking care of themselves from a very basic standpoint. Um, uh, you know, feeling, uh, feeling themselves, uh, this person probably is not feeling themselves at all. Um, there could also be, uh, you know, not eating healthily, not exercising, just a general, uh, poor, uh, poor health. Uh, so it could be any of these things. In your past, you have an, a fire sign coming up, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Now this can be a man or woman, but uh, I'm getting a masculine energy here. And this person is really at the height of their power, coming up as the king. Very strong leadership abilities, very action-oriented, very passionate. Uh, maybe also a good manager. Um, he's the Steve Jobs for me in the tarot. So this is someone who's very entrepreneurial, very creative, passionate. Um, can be loyal if he is in a relationship, um, but this is someone who has a need for adventure in relationships, has a need for action. And I'm seeing this person in your past, and uh, they were definitely passionate about moving forward. They were very passionate about taking action. In your thoughts and feelings, you have the seven of rods in reverse. So you may feel like backing down on some issue here. You may not feel like fighting or feel like standing up for yourself. You can also say that you back down too easily when met with conflict. All right. Um, I'm seeing fire sign energy here. So this, this could have to do with an interaction with a fire sign. Uh, you could be feeling maybe they back down too easily or they're not standing up. Someone is not standing up for their beliefs. Someone is backing down here. When faced with opposition, uh, <clears throat> so there's also I'm seeing lots of cards here that are talking about backing away from conflict uh, in order to resolve it. But sometimes that's not the best strategy. Sometimes you do need to engage in conflict in order to hash things out, as long as it's relatively peaceful. Going into the near future, you have the Page of Pentacles. This can indicate. Uh, messages, um, also messages coming from the world around you. I see here you have some new beginnings as well. Uh, in terms of your love life, the focus is on the body, the focus is on new beginnings. Okay, um, pages are often messengers, so I'll go ahead and clarify him, but I feel like, yes, you could be receiving a message. This could be about money. It could be about a new beginning. Uh, um, it could be regarding finances or a job. Um, remember, it's just, uh, it's very fresh energy. It's very new energy. So this could be the beginning of a new relationship. This could be you um, being cautious and weighing the pros and cons of the situation and just taking your time going slow. So now we're going to go ahead and, and clarify. Let's check out the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Queen of Pentacles coming up in reverse for Capricorn? I basically feel like if since this is in the challenge position, uh, and it would come up or be read in the reversal, so it can say that someone got caught doing something. 
um, that they weren't supposed to be doing. And I'm feeling someone is better about that. Why is the Queen of Pentacles coming up reversed in Capricorn cheating? I wrote that Capricorn. I'm having a hard time with your reading today. I don't know if it's because we're just about to go into a full moon. Uh, the energies feel a bit dense right now. So I do apologize, but the two cards that came up for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse are the Marcante. This is someone who is, uh, you know, they're trying to make an agreement. Um, it's about agreements, exchanges, uh, contracts, and mediation. And um, we also have the enemy here. So this is a woman who acts in secret. So it could be, you know, since the Marcante is looking at the enemy like this, um, they there's something to do with an agreement or an exchange, a contract, or some mediation uh, with regards to a woman here who is probably not your friend, your enemy. All right, so uh, someone may have been trying to work something out with a Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. Um, let's see. Because she's really the one clarifying this Queen of Pentacles here. Uh, why is the Page of Pentacles coming up in the future for Capricorn? We have the Haughtiness, which is about someone being very arrogant and having a lot of vanity. Someone who shows off. The lover, this is someone who does have feelings, but they're hiding them. And the lie, this is someone who is lying and is involved in some kind of hypocrisy. They do not have, their intentions are not good or they have hidden intentions or motives. So, uh, I'm seeing a woman here and clarifying the page of pentacles. And this person is sad or dealing with depression. Um, they may come off as being fine because we have the peacock here. So they have a lot of pride. Um, this is someone who does have feelings, but they're not coming forward with them. And there's also some kind of lie here. So someone is either lying to you or because we have the earth sign energy here or you. Um, Capricorn are involved in some kind of a lie or have some hidden intention or motive. Uh, I'm, I'm just seeing there's something here that's not above board, especially when it comes to the Seven of Swords crossing you, which I would read as, you know, in reverse as a challenge, someone getting caught doing something or someone feeling guilty or regretting something. Um, possibly... Uh, that you did in the past here. Uh, I'm also feeling like you could be acting in secret or someone that you know could be acting in secret. This was a difficult reading. A lot of the cards were even not wanting to come out and were not even wanting to reveal the answers to me. So I feel like there is a lot below the surface here that has not... Um, may still not be coming out, um, even towards the middle of March, but you have to look at, you know, how are you dealing with that? Okay, you have the sacred union as your guidance message, and this is about partnerships and romance. Seems appropriate for a love reading. And that is card 27 in the uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle. Okay. So, the Sacred Union is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that Spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you're never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. 
The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendship, family, business, and of course, romance. No matter what the form this message pertains to, the value of partnership, uh, sorry, no matter what the form this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by this sacred union. This is a very positive omen. Now, as a challenger, the sacred union warns you to be careful of your associations at this time. You may be entering into a situation that will cause more aggravation and drama than you can handle. Be mindful as well of addictive tendencies in making partnership commitments. Are you choosing from an obsessive need to distract yourself from moving forward in your life? Are you ignoring your red flags in order to change the course of events to suit you? Could it be possible that you're the recipient of mixed messages? This is a time to put a little distance between you and your query. More will be revealed to help you make the correct choice to support your soul's growth. So Capricorn, choose which uh, message resonates most with you. For some of you, I do feel like you need to like slow down a little bit here. Um, depending on what your question is regarding love, depending on where you are in your relationships. Um, there's a pause needed. I do feel like all will not be necessarily revealed right now. I feel like it could take a little bit more time. I mean, possibly by the end of March, but I still feel like there's a lot of things here. I'm seeing falseness. I'm seeing deception. I'm feeling some of you are stuck in the past about something and not willing to forgive. And uh, you may even, there could be someone here that you're dealing with that is an enemy as well uh, to you or you to them. But in terms of, you know, partnerships and romance, uh, you have something sacred here. I think for those of you who are in partnerships, there is something sacred here. So cherish what you have and uh, believe that you have a gift here bestowed upon you. It is a gift to be cherished. So take good care of that partnership and um, I think things will work out. But uh, like I said, for others of you, uh, you want to be a little bit cautious at this time. I wouldn't recommend just um, jumping into anything right now. The energies feel very dense, like I said, and um, you could be getting some mixed messages, especially going into the middle of March. So yeah, definitely, um, you know, listen to your body, listen to stay grounded, listen to your feelings. But at the same time, you know, try to be a bit logical about this situation. All right. I hope you guys all are doing well, and thanks so much for tuning in here. If you'd like a private reading with me, I am available to do those. Um, you can check the links below in the description. I've left the link to my scheduling app and my website. I would love to read for you, and I will see you guys back at the mid-month. Take care.